Weatherland. Here's Rob's forecast. Welcome back. Well, it was a cold start to the day, but a milder finish. Temperatures got up to 61 officially in Lafayette. And tomorrow we should see similar temperatures for highs, but tonight we're going to be a little bit milder thanks to cloud cover moving in. We'll talk more about that in just a bit, but first off, let's see if we have a drone shot today. And we certainly do. Lots of uh, blue skies out there and some high level cirrus clouds, and they're thickening as we go off to the west, and those clouds will be moving in. You see that thicker cloud cover off to the west. That'll be moving in during the course of this evening, and that's going to lock our temperatures into a little bit of a milder zone. Instead of 30s, we're going to see 40s mostly for tonight, the way it's shaping up. Pretty skies out there today, and here's the big picture. We do have a weak upper level disturbance that's pushing through Texas. It is producing some rain shower activity in Texas, but this looks more than what's actually going on. A lot of this is not reaching the ground. Exception would be the area of yellow and orange that we're seeing right here. And we'll see if this holds together, but don't be surprised if we have a few rain showers or light sprinkles overnight tonight as that cloud cover builds on in. And our graph model kind of showing that with a few spotty showers overnight tonight. Temperatures right around midnight at 50 degrees and we'll hold in the 40s for a good part of the night through tomorrow morning. And then we'll see when we clear out morning clouds tomorrow, but we do expect it to clear out for the afternoon. Temperatures will get into the upper 50s to lower 60s, depending on when that cloud cover clears out. I'm airing closer to 60 versus uh, upper 50s or mid 60s, so we'll kind of split the difference right there. And then going into tomorrow night, another chilly one with fair skies. We should push down into the upper 30s just a bit. And then as we head into your Thursday, mostly sunny skies. It's going to be a nice day. West northwesterly wind may allow our temperatures to get into the upper 60s, maybe push 70 degrees. Not in the overt forecast, but uh, that is certainly a possibility as we head into Thursday and going into Friday. High pressure still in charge for the most part. A cool start and a milder finish before we see a change in the pattern. And as we take a look at the GFS model, we'll notice that change in the pattern coming Saturday with scattered showers uh, moving on through. Looks like slightly better rain chances. Yesterday we were going 20% for Saturday. Today closer to 40%. Snow not too far away. And this is going to be an interesting low pressure system that moves up along the east coast. It could dump a fair bit of snow and a wintry mix along the east coast. But for us, we'll resume a dry and cold weather pattern Sunday into Monday with that front coming in Saturday and then as the week wears on it gets a little bit more interesting with the next chance of rain perhaps next Wednesday or Thursday and then going in toward the latter part of next week a look at this some winter precipitation now into Texas maybe southern Arkansas so it's getting a little bit closer and feeling like uh, we're getting closer to a more winter like pattern but the bottom line next week to 10 days most of those temperatures will be at or slightly below normal with the exception of a few days here and there. Temperature wise tonight as indicated not quite as cold upper 30s lower 40s still possible northern parishes of Acadiana will favor low to mid 40s I 10 quarter and mostly low to mid 40s down across the coastal parishes as well. Nice warm up tomorrow. Cloud cover sticks around, but then the sun comes out later in the afternoon. We'll go about 60 for your high tomorrow. Tomorrow night, a little bit colder. We'll favor upper 30s uh, for most spots across Acadiana. And then as we head into Thursday, you see those temperatures warming up into the upper 60s. Areas of yellow back here to the west. That's where we're going to see 70 degree readings just to the west of us. So overnight tonight, not as cold. Thickening cloud cover. A few sprinkles possible by morning. Uh, enough rain to wet the, wet the ground 15 20% no higher than that. 60 the high tomorrow after the morning clouds. The sun burns off those clouds and comes on back out. Should be a nice day. As we move forward, a couple of nice days Thursday, Friday. This weekend though, we do have that front coming in Saturday into Sunday. So breezy and mild for Saturday, but we're going with a better chance of showers with that cold front and Sunday clearing breezy and colder with temperatures topping out only in the lower 50s and dropping maybe to near freezing come Monday morning. Weather pattern looks quiet through mid next week, uh, but we do see rain chances picking up toward the end of next week, and we'll see how that plays out this time of year. Seven to ten day forecast. We could just strike that off the board because it changes so much, but in the near term, temperatures where they should be for this time of year in the month of January. Guys,